And then this man spoke something that really shook my faith. I mean, I had to personally fast for 10 days to ask the Lord if this was true. So hear this. The man said that every Christian has an angel serving him. Now, we know from the Bible that there are ministering spirits to us. He said that when people pray, the answer comes in the hands of the angel. The angel brings the answer, just like we read in the book of Daniel. But then he said something really tough. If the one who prays knows the spiritual armor and is clothed with the spiritual armor, then the answer comes by an angel who is also clothed in the full armor. But if the one who prays doesn't care about spiritual armor, then their angel comes without the armor. Christians who don't care about what kind of thoughts that come into their mind, they don't fight the battle in their mind. Their angels come without the helmet of salvation. Whatever spiritual weapon you ignore on earth, the angel doesn't have it as he serves you. In other words, our spiritual armor is not protecting our physical bodies. It's protecting our spiritual exploits. When the angel is coming, the evil spirits would focus and look at him and notice the areas which are not covered. And those are the areas they would attack. If the angel has no helmet, they would shoot at its head. If he had no breastplate, they would shoot at his chest. And if he had no shoes, they would try to make fire to burn his feet. Now, I, I know this is hard to believe. I, I'm just repeating what this man said. But we asked him, can angels feel fire? And you know what he said to us? Remember, this is the spiritual realm. These are spirits dealing with spirits. The battle is intense. And when they overpower an angel of God, the first thing they target is the answer he's carrying. And they take that from him. And these are the gifts that are given through the cults and through witchcraft. Remember what the Bible says in the book of James. It says, all good things come from God. So where does the devil get the things he gives to his people? Some people who cannot have children, they go to witch doctors and Satanists and they get pregnant. Who gave them that, that, that baby? Is Satan a creator? No. He steals from those who don't pray to the end. In the Bible, Jesus said, Pray without ceasing. And when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Will Jesus find you still there waiting? Or will you give up and let the enemy steal what you prayed for? And they're not satisfied with just stealing the answer. They also are interested in detaining the angel. And they start fighting him. Sometimes they succeed in holding and binding the angel. When that happens, the Christian is a victim on earth. And they can do anything with the Christian because he is totally left without ministry in the spirit. I said to this man, do you mean that an angel can be held in captivity by demonic forces? Now, he was just sharing his experiences. And he said that they wouldn't hold the angel too long because as other Christians prayed elsewhere, reinforcements would come and the angels would go free. And if the Christian responsible did not pray through, he remains a captive. Then the enemy sends his own angel as an angel of light to this person. And that is where deceptions come in, false visions and false prophecies. 
of false leadership, leading and guiding and making all types of wrong decisions. And many times this person is open to all kinds of attacks and bondages. I left that dinner so troubled. I said, Lord, I don't even want to try to believe this guy. It removes all my confidence and my security. When I went to seek the Lord, it was 10 days. And the Lord did two things. He not only confirmed the things that I heard, he opened my mind to see a lot more than what was said. And secondly, he led me to see what we are supposed to do as the things are happening so that we can overcome.